a free DVD. Mike Horn. Welcome back here to the PM Show, nationwide, coast to coast, CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm Michael Horn. Excuse me a second. I'm Michael Horn. <laughs> Not exactly Ted Williams. Not exactly Ted Williams. <laughs> Pam McNeely. And that's Ted Williams. You're listening to nothing but the best of oldies. You're listening to Magic 98.9. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so shows that have been re-upped. These are TV shows that have uh, going to come back next season. And this is actually really early in the year for yeah. these announcements to, oh, to be made. Very early in the year. Um, this Paul Abdul weeks, show, Live the Dance, is that no, coming back? No, no. Um, the television sure? critics are meeting in Pasadena this week and next week. Are we going? We, well, we can. Okay, and so and what's happening? So they're making some early announcements. Uh, big Bang Theory was continue will continue on it's through the 2013-14 season. Wow. Why would they have that show continue the 2000 and 2014? See, that's an old show. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Oh. What else is coming up? What else? Um, but they, it, it was kind of their anchor on Monday night. They moved it to Thursday. It's been doing really well on Thursday. And they also just made $4 million in syndication per episode. So it's a good show for That's them. why they're doing it for all those years, because they know they make yep. a lot. Okay. Uh, there's a new show on ABC that's going to make Bleep My Dad Says... Um, not so racy. It's called "Don't Trust the Witch with the Bee in Apartment 23." So all the all the networks are announcing shows that have racy titles. Don't trust the witch with a bee. <laughs> I don't know quite what I can say. A biatch in Apartment 23. Got it. Okay. <laughs> um, and then in other um, ABC announced that Modern Family, Grey's Good. Anatomy, Grey's The Middle, Anatomy. Oh, poor other. The Middle, Private Practice, Castle, and Cougar Town. Are all coming back. Well, Castle's coming on strong. There you yeah. go. They haven't officially picked up Desperate Housewives because that's always a big contract negotiation. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So there's no word on that yet. And Brothers and Sisters, also no word on that. What about V? Um, no word on V either. Did you see um, last night's? No, I have to watch or it. Monday nights? Oh my! Oh, they did the 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 feeding of the of the mouse thing. Oh, jeez. <laughs> really? And do you see who plays her mom? Who? Anna, you know, the Anna, Anna Babbler, the one that was the, yeah, original, the original, has been locked down you know in the why? basement for 15 years. Do you know why she's been locked in the basement? Because she <laughs> is an oldie. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Yep. Um, AMC uh, re-upped Mad Men again for of a fifth course, season. Of course, of course. So that'll be Big back. Big Emmy winner. What else? And every four years, Donald Trump makes some sort of a little squibble squabble that he's going to be running for president yes he does and now it seems that he's sincere about it and so. dick cheney is going to be the celebrity apprentice <laughs> <laughs> i just made that up i'll take it very good he's been speaking out in this last week about everything between uh, arizona um so he's going to run for president they uh he's his group released some information that they normally haven't done he normally gets on air and he talks and donald trump always talks about himself and how great he is and he's the most successful man ever and how great the apprentice is even though it's languishing in the ratings and this time his people actually released something online and and, and further statements so people think that this is actually a true indication that he may be running and he thinks mm -hmm. that the time in america is now for him but his comment was he was appalled at watching obama on his vacation in hawaii uh, sporting swimming tr trunks and flip-flops. And Trump says of Obama, I wouldn't be wearing flip-flops. I don't like it. I don't think that what the, that is what the president is supposed to be representing. Really? So What are you supposed to be representing? One of those yeah, Trump what's he ties? Supposed to... One of those Donald Trump ties? They're good, too. I bought Trump's one of those. And a comb-over. <laughs> and he's got and a nice shirt. Yeah. Now, Sandra Bullock and Ryan Reynolds are apparently looking pretty good together. That's Howdy what people lips, have seen too. them uh, together. Uh, and they were in the movie The Proposal together. Is there any more on them that they're, they're locking together or they're, something? They just have been on the cover of all the, all the on celebrity Us magazines magazine. yes. last week. Yeah, they were. And so they were on all of them last week. So mm -hmm. there's no more rumors about them. Uh, Courtney, our producer, loves them together. She thinks they're just the greatest. Who? They're, they're both very cute. Courtney, our producer. No, no, who, who's the couple? I didn't catch the couple. <laughs> I caught Sandra Bullock oh. and uh, uh, Ryan Reynolds. I don't even know who Ryan Reynolds well, is. Oh, Reynolds was He's in the movie The Proposal. He's the sexiest man alive. I, could, I, could, I, I wouldn't recognize him if he was no, sitting no, there. No, 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 no. The sexiest man alive. <laughs> when you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. Thank you, I, Ted Williams. Yeah. Thank you. What else you got? Um, let's see. The oh, the, the History Channel spent more money than they had ever spent on anything, any production ever, on a sh uh, miniseries about the Kennedy family. Yes. Oh, starring Greg Kinnear and our, our buddy Katie Holmes um, as Jackie. 
And they, after the Kennedy family applied thumb screws, apparently, to the History Channel, the History Channel said that they won't be airing it. Really? Yeah. And so now they're shopping it around. It was rumored that Showtime wanted to pick it up, but they declined today. Also, because they're part of CBS and all that, they don't want to get into a tussle with the Kennedys either. So it's now up for for grabs, but it, it's you know kind of all the warts and all and Chappaquiddick and the and mm. his affair with Marilyn Monroe and all that. So Natalie Portman's in the news. She's uh, she gave an emotional tribute to her fi- fiance. Who's that? Was it just uh, Benjamin uh, Millipede? Is that his name there? Yeah, he's a choreographer. For yeah, the he's New York a dancer. And uh, he she's going to be in Black Swan. Is that where they met when he choreographed Black Swan for? Her? Yes. Did you see Saturday Night Live? Yes. That was one of the funniest Jim things Carrey that I've ever was seen. Was the Black Swan with the chicken wing yes. tattoo? Uh, on his he was Saturday. the Black Swan. <laughs> That was a great. If you if you guys haven't seen that episode of Saturday Night Live, you can get it on Hulu with Jim Carrey. It was hysterical, and the top rated Saturday Night Live um, since Betty White. Oh yeah, J- Carrey was good. He was very. John good. Lennon's first car is going to be sold next month on auction on uh, eBay, oh. and uh, they say it could uh, fetch upwards of one hundred eighty thousand uh, dollars. The British auction house is uh, putting it up there. It's a sparkling blue, nineteen sixty five Ferrari GT two plus two coupe. So I think you owned that one time, didn't you, Paul Stern? No. You've been known to drive the classic vehicles I, around I actually CRM. Almost, I almost purchased a, ce- a former celebrity-owned vehicle. Really? Uh, one that was uh, actually a, uh, a, a a wedding anniversary present, a wedding present from John Bon Jovi to Richie Sambora. And, uh, the, and uh, oh, God, who was the, the woman that he married? Heather uh, Locklear. Heather Locklear. <laughs> really? Yeah, th- yeah, I did not purchase it, though, but uh, I, I, I thought about it. Well, you could have found some drugs in the seat cushions. <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, apparently the first car that John Lennon bought oh, after passing well, his thinking. driving test back in 1965, his first car. So that'll, that'll get some money. Hope it's in good riding condition. We'll be back on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Want to know how you can get the latest in consumer electronics for free? Then log on to freeslide10.com and find out how you can get a free...